Hi, I'm Gary Bebo, CEO of Waiver Health System, and this is my July uh, CEO connection. Uh, with me today is Gary Paxson, who's our Chief Quality Officer at White River Medical Center. Um, and uh, Gary uh, became Chief Quality Officer in April of 2015, so, you know, approximately uh, 15 months ago. Um, since then, Gary's done a lot of work to uh, improve the quality here, and uh, that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, you know, at the, one of our employee forums, um, back in December, there was, there was a lot of commentary from, from staff that they want to know about more, know more about the quality and how we're emphasizing that at the hospital. So uh, this, this program is really uh, fitted to, um, to respond to those, those questions. So Gary, uh, talk to me a little bit about um, what's going on in the area of quality. Sure. Uh, there's, as you know, there's a lot going on. Um, the way our payers, such as Medicare and Blue Cross, et cetera, a lot of initiative is shifting to, from the old days of when we did something, we'd get paid for it, no matter how well we did it or did not, and shifting to getting paid based on how well we do things. And so in that spirit, we're trying to keep track of, of how well we do in both the inpatient and the outpatient settings. Mm -hmm. um, and by our payers, those definitions of what is quality is our clinical outcomes, and patient satisfaction. So there's, an, there's a, um, a piece that, that's related to the patient specifically and how they perceived how well we took care of them. Um, and with the transparency of uh, websites like Hospital Compare, mm -hmm. it's very important that we, that we take on this initiative and, and pay close attention to it. I, I know we've really we've really done some improvement over the last 15 months too, haven't we? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that, that's really feather in your cap and the crew that's been working hard on that. I appreciate that. Um, really, the way what we did uh, kind of took a three-phased approach to that. Um, visibility was one thing. Mm -hmm. We create, if you recall, we created a uh, a stoplight report mm -hmm. uh, for White River, and we've actually recently launched one for Stone County as mm -hmm. well. Uh, same format so everybody can see at a glance how well we're doing uh, and that's been successful to help awareness. Uh, the other thing that we've done is education. Um, every, everywhere from the board level we talk about how we're doing at every board meeting, at every directors meeting, staff meeting. Um, in, in April we had a very successful opportunity with our physicians mm -hmm. on April 19th. We had an, all of our medical staff together had the peers start to talk about this mm -hmm. initiatives too and We've really seen a great sense of ownership mm -hmm. and response from our physicians, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so that leads to the third the third initiative has really been collaboration. It's not doing quality in a, in a silo, if you will. Is mm -hmm. really it's all of our responsibilities and getting multidisciplinary teams around a table and discussing how can we do this better. What options do we have to improve? Because the bar keeps getting higher and higher as we move forward, and so. So that's been uh, successful as, as well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you, the hospital can't do it alone. It, it requires a collaboration and a lot of support and participation by the medical staff. And I'm really been proud of how several of the physicians on staff have stepped up to absolutely to really participate in in, in this. And you can see the differences. Yes, absolutely. One one of the final gaps we're trying to plug. Um, is uh, real-time data. Mm -hmm. We have some systems now that give us data, but it's about runs about three months old, and mm -hmm. it's hard to make real-time decisions while a patient is here in our in our facility. And so we're doing an analysis. We hope to have that done um, actually in July, um, to where we can plug that gap and have that real-time information and make even greater strides at, at providing great care to our community. Yeah, you know, it really people want to see data as it's happening and not respond after several weeks or months from from occurring and frankly it gives you a better idea of things that you implement if you're getting the kind of response that you hope to have Absolutely. In, in it so uh, well I can't tell you how proud I am of the work you've been doing Gary it's it's uh, really making a difference here as, as this quality data becomes more transparent and more and more people make decisions on it so uh, so um, thanks a lot for the work you're doing thank you appreciate that I have uh, two employees of the month to recognize. Um, at Stone County Medical Center, Abby Welch in their dietary department uh, was selected after four years of being at the, on the staff at Stone County. Um, she's noted for friendliness and helpfulness, and um, if you've ever have been over to Stone County, um, they've got a great dietary department, and Abby's an important part of that. At Waver Medical Center, Larry Henson from Information Systems 
uh, was nominated uh, for involvement, in, well, and selected. Fra frankly, I'm the one who recommended Larry, and uh, they, the committee did a great job of accepting my recommendation. Uh, he's been here some 12 years, um, and he was part of the Kronos implementation. And so, you know, a time clock system that we implemented really takes a lot of involvement. And Larry has done a great job. Plus, he did um, all of the presentations at the recent employee forum. So uh, Larry is well-deserving of the recognition. So if you see Larry or Abby out and about, be sure to uh, congratulate them on being selected as Employees of the Month. For the next several months, we're going to have a lot of new providers joining the staff. In fact, um, the most recent account, we'll have 12 new physicians joining the staff just from July up through December. And so uh, the most more recent ones that will be joining us are Adam Perot, who is a, a doctor of osteopathic medicine, who will be at the Stone County Primary Care Clinic, and he'll be working with Jody Gibson. Originally, Dr. Perot is from the Bald Knob area, and so um, we're really looking forward to having him join the staff up there at Stone County. Anoop Singh uh, is a pulmonologist uh, who will be located uh, over in the WRMC Cardiology Clinic along with Dr. Van Grau in his office. He's the husband of Dr. Solanke, who is one of our pain management doctors. Uh, Dr. Singh uh, uh, will be the uh, intensive care unit medical director, and I've had a lot of dialogue with him during this recruitment process, and uh, he is going to do us a great job. Actually, he's going to change the way we practice medicine in the intensive care unit at White River. I'm so really looking forward to having him join us. Uh, we have two hospitalists that will be joining us, Dr. Salinas and Dr. Duarte. Um, both are affluent in uh, Spanish and, uh, and English, and uh, they'll be great additions to the hospitalist staff. That'll, that'll make a total of nine full-time hospitalists we have on the staff here. And, you know, Dr. Villagra is the medical director there, and um, that group is really an excellent group of hospitalists, and uh, I'm really proud of the work that they're doing here. In the pain management clinic, we have Dr. Pakaripa, We'll be joining Dr. Siddiqui and, and the rest of the uh, physicians over there. Um, he's also a specialist in physical medicine, rehab, and palliative care. And so we'll look forward to having him join us. And finally, Dr. Da Andy Davidson will be joining the Cave City Clinic. You know, Dr. Davidson, well, when I first came to Batesville, worked at the Cave City Clinic some 25 years ago. And uh, after that, he did work at Batesville Family Practice, and just recently he's decided to go back into uh, back to the Cave City Clinic. And so I know everyone in that clinic and that area is looking forward to Dr. Davidson's opening, reopening his practice in, in Cave City. So for those physicians that I mentioned today, be sure to, if you see them, um, congratulate them for joining our staff and, and help them to feel welcome. Each month, we have a community health education presentation in the Josephine Ray Rogers Conference Center. And on July 12th, Dr. John Rines will be making a presentation on mental health. Dr. Rines is a medical director of our acute psych unit, and uh, boy, he's making a great difference in, in mental health care at, at our facility. So um, if you're available on July 12th at noon, uh, come and listen to Dr. Rines' uh, presentation. Uh, have lunch with us, and um, I know it's going to be well worth your time. Semi-annually, we do a Leadership Development Institute, and on July 28th and 29th, leaders of White River Health System will get together and, uh, and uh, learn uh, skill sets that will make us better leaders. So um, following that July 28th and 29th, we'll give some feedback about things that we learned, and uh, I'm, I'm hopeful that you'll see the difference of, those, of that training. So uh, we'll look forward to doing that. As in the past, if you have any ideas on how we can make the CEO connection better, be sure to, to let us know. And so um, until next month, um, have a great July.